What's going on guys? Welcome to Ambrose Landscape YouTube channel. I hope that you guys are staying safe out there with everything going on with this virus. Luckily for me, it's not affecting us too much just because I'm working by myself, so I'm not infecting anyone. I'm not getting close to any of my clients because they're not supposed to be stopping me anyway. So other than that, I'm good to go and I'm able to continue to work. So hopefully you guys are able to work as well. So we are at one of my small little tiny condos. I just did this big one yesterday it's huge it goes all the way down there and then there's this i call it the island this large section right here as well so now there's another condo that kind of wraps around on this outer side that has about roughly five homes and so we're going to be mowing that today so i got the b27 warming up right now we're going to be using that as well to do some mowing and mulching while i still have it i am going to be buying this mower there's a couple things i'm going to be switching on it which i will talk about in a little bit later so let's get that thing out start mowing and keep going let's get going guys so all the mowing is done so now it's time for me to get to the weed whacking which uh, I've gotten a lot of questions recently about the Azure Pro as you guys know that I've been using for the past several years since I've actually started YouTube <clears throat> one of my favorite tools and I don't work with the company I don't get I don't get paid for them if I did if I had an affiliate link for the freaking Azure Pro you guys know how much money I would have made Whoo, that would have been nice anyways I do not work with them at all and so I'm showing you guys a couple tips on how I kind of do some of the edging. So I'm going to show a couple shots of me doing the edging, how I do it. And then I will kind of go back and forth with the camera and explain a couple tips. So the first one is we're going to do right here along the street right here by my truck. And as you guys can see, typically you want to do it to where the disc is running along the concrete because you want to have that nice straight line. If you run it on the opposite side, like if I were to do it from the grass, I have to do it because of the truck and trailer are in the way. But the reason why I try not to do that is because you're going to have a even wider line because you can use that disc to bump up against the concrete where if you do it from the grass side, you have a higher chance of it 
um, like I said, having a wider line, which a lot of people don't like, and they already don't like the wide line already from the Edge of Pro. So I'll give more tips and stuff like that, but let's get this thing warmed up, started, and let's get to some edging. This is the sure can. I love the sure can for this reason. As you guys can see, just flip it, tilt it, all one hand, get a run, and good. Put it back up, that's it. That's the reason why I love the sure cans when it comes to mixed fuel or for small engines. And if you guys watch my uh, trailer setup video, then uh, I'm not really a big fan of the five gallon. It just takes way too long to drain out. So I that's why I have these guys in here. Just do a lot faster. Uh, they're nice to have, but I'm a huge fan of the 2.2 gallon sure cans. So, okay. Let's go. Alright guys, so here's a perfect example of when to trim the other way. So, as you guys can see, I have this edge right here that needs to be trimmed. But, if I walk in the grass like I typically do, all of those rocks are going to hit this truck. So, sadly, I have to go inside the bed to edge the other way so that I don't get anything flinging this way. So, you always got to be very careful with where you're aiming your edge at Pro, or even your trimmer in general. Um, so, you don't hit anything, because... Even with this camera that I'm using right now, just when I did my last video or two videos ago, I actually broke the little um, screen on this right here. Or I didn't break it, but it cracked because I hit a rock. So be very careful. So I'm going to show you guys how I do this one. <laughs>
guys, so I am all done. So as you notice, I always grab the blower. I always blow off the mower before or after every single job. And at the end of the day, just to kind of keep up on the cleanliness of it so nothing's really building up. Um, as well as making sure that weeds, if there was weeds here, which there are in the grass, we don't want that to be tracked into other yards. So we always blow it off just to make sure that it's just nice and clean for the next day. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the video. I'm going to be doing a video a little bit more in depth about me edging some of the tips and tricks about how, how I use it. And there's people over there, um, and how I use it and what I like and dislike about the edge of pro. That was just a quick little video. I need to get some mounts for my GoPro or the Osmo where I can actually mount it on my head like I used to do. So I can actually get some good, you know, first person uh, video where right now I'm just setting it down on the ground so you guys don't really thoroughly see everything. But that's it, short little video. Hope you guys are having a good day. This is Friday, so it's my weekend. So I'm pretty excited about that. So I have plenty more videos coming. I hope you guys are enjoying these. If you guys wanna see anything, if you guys like the riding shotguns, be sure to like, subscribe. I will see you guys next time on Ambrose Landscaping.